Hello to guys, and welcome back to another episode on Terraria Journeys End. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Last episode that you've done is we battled Moon Lord, but unfortunately we did not defeat him. We got completely slaughtered by him. That's why today I want to have a second attempt. I'm going to go and try again. I want to, I just really want to try again. Simple way to put it. Last episode, we were mostly using the weapons that we got from the Vortex Pillar. More specifically, we were using the Vortex Beater. And that apparently was not dealing enough damage. Because then, on my final attempt, you know, before I finished the recording, on the last, at last attempt at that video, I used the Solar Weapons, aka the Solar Eruption, and the Daybreak, and I dealt a lot more damage to him. Yes, I still got completely annihilated, but I did deal more damage overall. Meaning that I think we what we might need to do is that we might need to use the Solar Weapons to help us take him down. Yes, I can stay further away using the Vortex Beater, you know, and most of the bullets home in, whilst they're going to be relatively close to use the Solar Eruption, and the day Daybreak is quite hard to aim when you're far away, so... I'm going to have to go and stay closer to him when I'm going using the Solar Weapons, but I can effectively deal more damage. And because of the fact that I'm getting hit a lot anyway, I might as well actually deal some more damage before I completely get destroyed by the Death Ray. Plus, talking about the Death Ray, you need to be actually quite close to him to avoid the Death Ray, because... The best way to avoid death ray is to fly over the middle eye that shoots the death ray. So, today I simply want to have another attempt. I do not actually have any of the things that I can have that other attempt with. In other words, I don't have any um, so uh, sigils, what the hell they're called. So, I'm going to get myself some more sigils so I can actually you know, try again. Because without the sigils, there's not going to be no other attempt. So, basically, yeah. Last episode, we battled him. We got destroyed by him. And today I want to go and I want to simply have... Round two against Moon Lord. Hopefully, take him down, kill him, and well, just get what we need from him. Anyway, here we are. This map takes a long time to load because it's this big. But, um, yeah, I simply want to have round two again. I want to have another go and hopefully take him down so we can have him killed. We can farm him, get ourselves some Ivor Solar or Vortex armor. So, we want to decide which armor I want, and then we can go and take on, you know, the Ethereal Waves, the Empress. And we would also do those like fishing quests, the Supreme Helper Mini Achievement thing. I have like 130 more quests I gotta do, it's gonna take a while. Anyway, yeah, let's just take four. Let's hope we won't actually need to use all four of these. Let's hope we're gonna beat them in a few attempts, but we'll see. I have a lot of, you know, sigils in here. Celestial, that's name, Celestial Sigils. I have a lot of sigils in here, I'll probably never run out. And even if I do run out, I can always just, you know, delete this world, reinstall it, and everything's gonna be refreshed. So, no worries about that. Let's get ourselves back in. And, um, yeah, let's go for attempt number, like, four or five, I would say. Yeah, not sure. Anyhow, uh, let's go. Also, a trick I've learned, your health regeneration is increased greatly when you sit in a chair. Meaning that now, it goes up quite slowly, but when I sit in a chair, hey, look how fast it goes up. Yeah, it's really going much faster, and it speeds up the longer you sit, so. We can just quickly sit on this chair, regenerate our health to max, and then you can have a second attempt against... Moon Lord. We got destroyed by him last time, so today I hope that I'm going to destroy him. I don't promise you much, but yeah. Also, we also destroyed the Nebula Pillar last time. And we got a few Nebula Fragments right, right here, as you can see. Oh, where are they? Materials. We got 51. I want to see what we can craft of these, and if it's going to be anything that I, that's going to be I don't know, at all interesting or useful. So let's see. Also, I might actually have enough um, Solar Fragments to... Make the solar armor or vortex fragments. Want to make the vortex armor? I might just need to go get more fragments from the pillars. Don't think that through. Anyhow, uh, you can have it make the nebula arcanium, which it conjures massive astral energy ch to chase down your foe. I think that just a more of a you know homing weapon. And there's also the nebula blaze, which deals 130 magic damage from Orion's belt at the palm of your hand. Which is a thing shoots a bunch of also homing weapons. Because my solar eruption deals 116 and the daybreak 166, 130. I mean, I could make it, because it is a homing weapon. I'll quickly open my window. Hold on a minute. But, um, yeah, I could make it. It's uh, mostly homing, so it could be useful. You know, I could stay far away from him, deal a bit of extra damage, and I could go back to using other weapons. I don't know. I could make it. I don't really see why not. So I think about it as well. I think I'm going to make both, just because... Well, I mean, why don't see why not? I bet we've got 15 left. I think we've got the least nebula fragments out of everything in total. Anyway, we're going to check these weapons. Ah, oh, I was trying to go through my platform where I'm on the roof. We can go and, yeah, uh, check these out in just one minute. For now, though, gotta put you away. And also, how many, uh, yeah, fragments do I need? I'm also gonna go and take these. But how many fragments do I need? I'm actually gonna take all of them just to see how many I have. But 
how many do I need to make the Vortex and Solar Armor? Because I want to see how many, how many I actually need and how many more I need because I probably don't have enough. Yo, you, Scott. Is your name even Scott? No, it's Kevin. I think Scott was the previous guy who died. Yeah, the earlier probably the guy you killed was trying to defeat the Wall of Flesh. Yep. Anyhow, for the Solar Armor, we're going to require 10, 30, 45, right? Because 10 at 20 is 30, 30 at 15 is in fact 45. Okay, so you need 45 solar fragments. How about Nebula? Also 45. I think it's going to be the exact same, isn't it? 10, 30, 40. Yeah, so we need 45 of each to make the test of armor. We also need a health on Illuminai, but Illuminai we get from Moonlor, so... We can first you worry about get, uh, we can first you worry about defeating Moon Lord, then you can worry about farming him for Luminite. But generally, yeah, we need forty five of each fragment. I mean, I can always simply you know cheat to get more fragments because I mean I don't really want to go and fight the pillars again. But I mean it would be fair if I fight them again. I mean, I guess I could fight them again. I don't really want to, but I mean I guess I can. How much Luminite do I need? I can't be able to get the fragments back. Oh okay. yeah, we probably need quite a little luminite anyway. Let's first worry about taking Moonlord down, then you can actually worry about getting enough luminite to make ourselves, you know, the armor. Anyhow, let's test these two weapons out. So, uh, the Nebula Blaze. Yep, shoots a hell on a power apparently, and it deals a lot of damage. Oh yeah, it yeah it doesn't pass through blocks, but it still deals a bit of damage. You use up your mana quite fast, but it is still quite nice. Wait for a mana to wait for a mana to regenerate, then you can go and you can use our other weapon. The Temple Arcanium. Oh, that creates like little portal things. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but this probably won't be too useful against Moon Lord, considering the fact Moon Lord is mostly a wep mostly weapon. Moon Lord is mostly an enemy that doesn't really stay in one spot, since he is a boss. Meaning that I don't think these are going to be too useful, are they? No. They do actually bounce the blocks. And actually, when we hold uh, the Nebula Blaze, you have like a flaming, nice purple hand, and when we hold the Nebula Arcanium, we um we have like a little ball floating in front of us, which is quite cool. But generally, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use this because I don't think it's gonna do much good against the Moon Lord. I guess I can keep them in my you know uh, inventory and hotbar stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna actually gonna use those. I'm probably gonna go put the solar options in my primary weapon. I think we can officially retire the vampire knives because they're simply not good enough anymore. But um yeah, I seem to go and make one more spot. Why don't I? Really, I don't really use the sniper rifle, do I? No. Let's go and put you over there. Mm hmm. That'll be that. Alright, sniper rifle, yeah. You too, vampire knife, sniper rifle. You served me well, but you are no longer useful to the cause. So, I can smack you two into here. No problem, not in there. And here, yeah, perfect. Smack into there. Now, um, yeah, today, as I said, I want to have round two against that son of a gun. Will you win? So, you want me to find out? Hello, my guy, how do you do? Click on remove these flowers. There we are. And yeah, let's go to the ice biome, get up to the arena. I guess let's try again. And just see how good we go. How good we do. How, how much money do we have? Because I don't want to check that. I'll tell you why in a minute. And we got a yeah, Templar, that's fine. Mm, yeah, the nurse uh, makes you pay much more for her to heal you when, when you're fighting Moon Lord than she does normally. Normally, to heal the max health from like half health, it costs like 10 gold. But when I'm fighting Moon Lord, it costs like 30 or 40 gold. So I don't know why, but she raises her prices a lot when she, um, when, when during the boss battle. So. The nurse is good, yes, she can't heal me during the boss battle, but the thing is, she's gonna cost a lot of money to actually heal me, so I don't know if it's, you know, worth it. I mean, there's nothing else I really wanna use my money on. Oh god, there's a Martian saucer. Hold on. Do you wanna fight the Martians? I mean, I guess I could fight the Martians. No, do not attack, stop, 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 do not attack the probe. But do we wanna fight the Martians? Well, I mean, it's too late now. Boys, the Martians are invading. Oh god. Okay, you know, I was not, oh god's sake. I was not intending on fighting the Martians today, but I guess we are. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, Martian madness, the Martians are invading. Oh god, and Billy Bones, the golfer, is dead. Um, yeah, okay. I don't think we're going to be fighting these normal enemies, because I don't think we really want to fight them. I think what we want is we want to go and fight the UFOs, because we want to go and we want to, you know, get the things that the UFO drops. So, um, we got to wait for a UFO to spawn, in other words. I don't think these guys can break into our homes, but unfortunately for Billy Bones, the golfer, he already was outside when these guys invaded, meaning that, um, yeah, he kind of died, and oh god, how the hell did they break in, dude? Okay, I'm going to have to kill them, not wrong, but I'm going to kill these guys because I only want them to kill my people. Stop. Stop. Oh, these Martians have a lot of health. My god. Can I destroy you as well? 
Okay, this is bad. These Martians are quite pissed, aren't they? Yeah, apparently so. Okay. We're gonna wait for our sorcerer to spawn, because I wanna go and, you know, destroy a sorcerer, because a sorcerer can give us quite a lot of, you know, useful items that I can hopefully take. That'll also help us in the Moon Lord battle. So, yeah. Today, I was planning on fighting the Moon Lord, but instead, we're gonna be fighting the Martians, because, um, yeah, these guys are here now. So, Moon Lord, Moon Lord can wait. Today, is a Martian killing day. Oh god, I got an iron skin potion, which I don't know where the hell I got it from, but I mean, that's pretty cool. Alright, uh, potion, smack you in there. Now, I gotta wait for a, what's it called? I gotta wait for a Martian sorcerer to spawn, because the sorcerers are the ones that actually drop the good items. These enemies over here don't actually do anything good, so... We simply need to wait for a sorcerer to spawn. When will the sorcerer spawn? I have no idea, but we need to wait for one to spawn, because the sorcerers are, like, our only good way of getting loot, I guess. Yeah. I will see you when a sorcerer finally spawns. I was not expecting to do this today, but I guess, yeah, we're fine of the Martians, I guess. I'll see you in a sec. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm already, like, already 7% of the thing has been cleared because, you know, my summons kept on killing the uh, Martians, and literally no sorcerers are spawning. I don't know why, but there's literally not a single sorcerer spawning. I even had to take off my foresight because it kept on killing these stupid Martians. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try one more time, I'm gonna resettle the enemies, I'm gonna come back. And if there's still not gonna be, you know, any sources, then I'm just gonna go and plow through this event to slaughter everyone. And just simply, we don't have to get loot from the sources, we don't really need it. Going back, there's no enemies. Now when they all come back, there's probably not gonna be any sources, right? I mean, there's a lot of sources in the background, but I presume they're attacking some other place, huh? Presumably. Well, in that case, if there's no sources, then we're gonna get to kill them, aren't we? Here we go. It gives, this gives us a perfect opportunity to use my new weapons, so that'd be quite fun. Hello, people. Wanna try that out? Okay, that works. It also explodes on contact. Oh, I have a new. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, okay, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Oh, I got an anti-gravity hook. That's also pretty cool. Okay, can you stop, people? Seriously. And as well, just as dead. What do you know? Okay, we have lost quite a few people. And the dog died. Yeah, it's just the dog, unfortunately, got killed. The, as you know, the golfer's dead. The, um, the zoologist just died. I think that's it. We only had three casualties so far. Three is still way more than I would like to have, but you know. Always could be worse. Right, but this, this, this should be no problem. You can just please smash through. Slaughter everyone should have much trouble with this event. I would really love it if the stupid sorcerers would spawn, but since they're refusing to spawn, we're just gonna do this without the sorcerers. We don't need them. We'll be fine. What the hell are you people doing inside of goddamn Molly Sands, huh? Stop. Stop. Generally. <laughs> Stop. Okay, we can use the Nebula Blaze now because, I mean, it's pretty cool. It deals a bit of damage. But yeah, I didn't know that the, um, the Nebula Arcanum actually explodes on contact. When it hits an enemy, it literally explodes. So it still could be quite useful. Yeah, homes didn't explode, so it still could be quite useful against Moon Lord. Because it's gonna, it's gonna home in on Moon Lord's eyes and, like, explode on them. So that could be quite good. It does deal quite a lot of damage as well, so, yeah. Alright, people. You wanted to invade my house? Well, then come here. I'll show you what we do to invaders up here. Alright, you see there's still no sorcerer. We're halfway through and there's still not a single sorcerer yet. That just shows you that sorcerers really just apparently do not like the plan. Huh. Well, apparently I guess the sorcerers know it's going to be coming for them, so they're just hiding. Oh, there he is! Yeah, there's a sorcerer. You can quickly go and despawn you. And you can- Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I cannot die. If I die, then the sorcerer's going to despawn get inside the house. Whoa! Okay, we're fine. Oh, those go through blocks. That's bad. They didn't go through blocks before, but I guess they go through blocks now. Okay, spawning you. We've got to kill this thing right now. Because if we don't kill this thing, it's going to kill me. If I die, we're going to lose all of the stuff it's going to drop. Because if I die, it's going to despawn. If it's going to despawn, I can't get the stuff from it. So we got to kill it right now without dying myself. Although, killing it without dying is going to be quite hard. Especially since the laser deals so much damage. But I guess it's some, you know, training. Pre-Moon Lord training. Because Moon Lord's going to have the same lasers, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, this is going to be quite fun, isn't it? If we just don't die, keep on hitting him. And not getting hit ourselves, it should be fine, right? That's a health on lasers. Okay, can you not, dude? Seriously, can you just not? Oh, yep, yep, he hit me with that. Definitely hit me. Okay, if we die, this guy's going to despawn. If this guy despawns, we can't get anything that he drops because he's going to despawn. So we got to kill him without letting him despawn. Okay, come on, stop. I'm out of flipping. Kill him. Do it. Okay, he's much. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. He's much faster in when. Yeah, when you, when you destroy all his things and it's just his, you know, his main body flying around, he's much faster. And now we're dead. And we lost 22 gold right there. So the sorcerers do spawn, 
but apparently not commonly enough, and that saucer destroyed me, my god. If I can't defeat a simple saucer, I don't think I can defeat Moon Lord himself, no, kinda. Yeah, I'm going go it hard. Well, in that case, I guess we're doing it hard right now. Remove you, and remove you, and I guess, yeah. Okay, the saucers are much stronger than I originally anticipated. I mean, before, the lasers from the saucers did not go through blocks, you could just sit inside and you'd be safe. But now, the Phantasmal Death Ray from Moon Lord and the UFO laser go through blocks, meaning you can't actually hide inside of your home, you have to stay outside and fight. Making this event much harder and making you govern the loot from the saucers much worse, so that's fun, isn't it? But anyway, I don't really care about this other saucer stuff, the only thing I could want would be the, the UFO pet, but I simply already got this and this is pretty much just as good. Maybe it's even a bit faster than the UFO pet, so... I don't need anything, because, you know, this little pet will help me get around quite easily, and there's nothing else I really want from, you know, the martial sorcerers, so, yeah. The sorcerers would be good, you know, a bit earlier on, but now, the stuff from the sorcerers just is useless. I have much better stuff, so, yeah. I don't need the sorcerer stuff, now, I just need to slaughter these fools and deal with a bigger problem. And the bigger problem is, Moon Lord himself, so, can you stop, dude? Yeah, she is. Okay, here comes another sorcerer, we gotta go, spawn in you, and we're gonna another die. I want to take down at least one saucer, not because I want the saucer's loot, but just because I don't want to seem like, you know, the worst Terraria player ever. Saucers aren't the hardest enemies, so I want to go and kill at least one. That'd be quite cool. Okay. Now, we gotta at least you just not get hit by the lasers, because the big, you know, death ray thing deals a health and a damage. Spot on you, and let's destroy that shuttle. Come on, you're going down, brother. I think the weapon that deals the most damage is, in fact, that's quite hard to aim with you, so I think we're gonna, oh, God. I'm gonna go and try to use the daybreak. The daybreak's probably our best bet. The issue is, this guy is, m is much stronger and much faster in his second stage. You know, in his second stage, when you destroy all of his parts, it's just, you know, his main... Hold on. When it's just his main, um... It's just, just... The only weapon he has is just the laser. Because that's the only weapon he has left to use, he's much more efficient using it. And because he's much more efficient at using it, he's better at killing me with it. Making him quite a tough guy to kill, don't you think? We adjust ourselves, get ourselves ready, we gotta take this guy down and steal his stuff, because... I want to defeat at least one saucer, because I mean, like, come on. I can't defeat a single saucer. If I can't defeat a single UFO saucer, there's no way I can go and defeat Moon Lord himself. Like, come on. Okay, I can heal in our 12 seconds, but I think we're going to be entering stage 2 any minute now. And stage 2 will be the stage that most likely kills me. No one, you know, life. Okay, 4 seconds, 3 seconds, 2 seconds, 1 second. Okay, and here's in second stage, and I am healed up as much as I can be. Now, yes, you can see, he is much more efficient at Like, look at that, how is he supposed to avoid that? I kind of think you can't avoid that. Like, he just flies above you, he's very fast. God damn it. Can you just take that saucer down, Mr. You know, man. Mr. Man. Um, yeah, start this dragon. Oh, fuck, 146 damage, that's what I mean. Those, those Martian death rays do 146 damage. I cannot tank 146 damage. Normally, this event was fine because you could just, you know, hide inside your house and the laser would not go through blocks. But now, the laser goes through blocks, making this much harder. Like, look, the laser is going to go through my house. Or maybe it's not. Oh, no, look, it, it, it does go through my house. A bit. Not fully, but yeah, it does go through a bit through my house. And they're going to kill my buddy in a minute as well. They killed my dog, now they're going to go and kill my buddy. Like, look, it just simply goes through my house. The laser goes through your house. So, I don't think I can, no, there's no way I can take down this guy, I guess no way, I mean, I've probably taken down, but there's no way I can cheat during the battle, because the best way to cheat is by simply, you know, hiding inside of your house and avoiding his lasers. But now, since the death rays actually go through blocks, there's no, you cannot evade the death rays as easily as you normally could before. I'm gonna go and try to go and lead him onto, you know, my arena up here, if I don't die while I'm doing so, and maybe fighting him up here is gonna be a bit easier, although I think I'm gonna die on my way, because, you know, life. Okay, oh, he despawned, are you kidding me? He literally despawned. Oh my god. That's an Martian inversion is so hard. Okay, he, he now I spawned in, which is quite fine. Okay, can you come over here, dude? No, do not hit me if you're 50 quadrillion lasers and actually come over here, dude. Seriously, dude, come on. Come on, come to flip over here and die. I'm gonna use up all my healing potions on this. I don't even need to kill him, I don't really want anything from him. You, all of you guys fall down. I don't really, I don't just, there's nothing that I could ever need from him. But I'm still wasting all my time trying to fight him. Okay, like, look. Look at the damage we can deal to him when we're close to him. But when we're close to him, look at the damage he can deal to me. So I think we're gonna die. The death rate, though, that's the thing. The Martian death rate he uses just means it just means death. It literally just means death. There's no way I can avoid that. There's no way I can just simply not die from that. I mean, I can always try not to die, but I mean, I don't promise much, considering the fact, you know, it's me. I'm not the best Terraria player, I'm far from it. 
Okay. Here comes the death ray again. You can there's a method you can avoid the death ray in as you know when his when he's in the second stage, but it's very hard. And when something's very hard, it's practically impossible for me because you know my skills at this game are outstandingly terrible. Okay, now we gotta run, we gotta not get killed. Use you because you're the you're the easiest to aim when he's far away from us. And we gotta be faster than him because he's very fast, so we gotta just avoid him. Right? If we can go underneath him, above him. Okay, come on, he's getting weak. If we can just finish him up, that'd be quite good. I got heal up right now, or I don't know if the healing is gonna do much. Just kill this saucer for me! Oh no, 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 no. Okay, that's gonna be bad. Kill it, kill it, do it, do it, do it, do it, just yes! Alright, we got one. The source is down, we got an influx wave. Right, the influx wave is pretty cool. There's actually a bit of a story about this weapon that has something to do with my channel. I can tell you about it in a minute. For now. God damn. Alright, one sorcerer's down. Can you take it down anymore, or is that, you know, as far as I can go? Let's see, is, I don't know where Martian's coming after me. Just that guy. Can you not? Dude, seriously. Just, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cheers. Good. Anyway, as I was saying, at the influx waiver, you know how my Steam, no, my, actually my Steam name and my, oh. The, oh, I'm too far away from my house, so the invasion ended. Well, not ended, but got, yeah, paused. Anyway. You know how my um, both YouTube name and my Steam name is Tabby Waver 69. Well, the way the origin of the the origin of that name, where it came from, the first part of the main of the first part of my name, Tabby, like you know, Tabby Cat, the color of the cat. That's where I got that from. I don't like cats, so I don't know why the hell I named myself after that, but whatever. And the second part, Tabby Waver. Well, look at the weapons. The second part of the name of this weapon, Waver, Influx Waver, Tabby Waver, Influx Waver. Yeah, so. Half my YouTube name is after a cat, and the other half of my name is after this weapon, the Influx Waver. What I name myself after this weapon? Because just look at it. It shoots little swords. I love the Influx Waver. The Influx Waver is one of my favorite swords in this game, and because it's one of my favorite swords, that's why I named myself after it. So, yeah. First part of my name is after a cat. I don't know why, since I hate cats, but whatever. And the second part is after this weapon right here, the Influx Waver. So I'm actually very happy we got this. Probably not gonna use it, but I mean, I'm still happy I got it because you know, it's cool. It's what my what my YouTube names after, so I'm pretty happy we got that. Cause I mean, yeah, I, that weapon means a bit to me because you know, I named my entire YouTube, you know, after that. I made I named my Steam account after that, you know. I named quite a lot of stuff after you know that weapon and the cat. The, <coughs> the cat's relevant, but I mean, you know, the influx waiver is quite important. Oh, the bunny's dead. Uh, the influx wave is quite important to me because, you know, I named my channel after it, so it's pretty cool. Bit of, you know, history to my channel right there, it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, yeah, the dog is dead, the zoologist is dead, the golfer is dead, and now also the bunny is dead. That's why having Martians invade your home is not nice, and also they broke my door. Why the hell did you fast break my door? Oh god, here it comes again. Okay. We know how to, we know how to face off against this guy now. We gotta get up onto the, you know, arena. That's the only way we can fight him easily, is if we just simply use the arena. Yeah, we generate our fly to get up on. Okay, is he, is he staying close? But come on, dude. I only really wanted to despawn. He despawned. Okay, of course he did. Oh, for the love of God. If he didn't despawn, I could have just fought him on the... I probably could have taken him down if he didn't despawn, because I fought him on, on the arena, could have taken him down. And now the merchant's dead. The only guy still alive is the guy, but I don't think the guy's gonna be able to live any longer. Oh god, he even killed Seymour, man. Seymour's such a child. I think it's the one, I think that is the guy that we got. I think that is the merchant we got at the beginning of the game, and now he's dead. God flipping damn it. Can you people not? Can I just kill one more sorcerer before this event ends? Or oh here, here it comes. Now, let's not let it despawn, let's not let it kill me either. So there's two things. Kill by it, we can't do that. And let it despawn, you also can't let it do that. So are you gonna come over? Yo, dude, you coming? You coming, dude? Yeah? Okay, here it comes. You can get a bit further away from it. Not too far for it to despawn, but far enough for me not to get killed by it. Okay, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you not, do, Sissy, stop. Okay, come on. Come on, yeah. Come here. Fight me like a man, you saucer. Even if you're not actually a man, just still. Come on. Fight me. Hit me. Well, actually, don't hit me either. Oh, for lo just come here and let me kill you. Alright, I'm gonna get killed by the stupid weird zappity zap thing. Yes, I did call one of their attacks a zappity zap. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. Okay, we can heal up anytime we need, but I don't think I'm gonna heal up just yet, just in case. I mean, actually, I probably should heal up. I'm not gonna heal up just yet. For now, let's just, yeah, face up against this guy. We're still in stage one, which is quite good, but we're gonna be entering stage two any minute now. Good, get some extra damage of that. I'm gonna actually heal up. I changed my mind, we're healing. Okay, we're gonna use you as well. Good, and that should deal some extra damage. Enough damage to enter stage two. I think we're in stage two now, aren't we? 
We are most definitely in stage two. Now we've got to stay far away. Come on, dude. Get the hell over here. Why are you so far away? Come on, dude. Seriously. Okay, no, we're still stage one. There's still... Oh, they're still alive, both things. Okay, now we're in stage two. Now is where this battle gets very hard. Because now, he deals so much damage. It's literally unbelievable. Okay, come on. Evade that. Good, good, good. If we can just do an evasion underneath it when he stops firing like that, that'll be quite good. Okay, the Martians are uh, the Martians have been defeated, but the sorcerer's still alive. Come on, just kill the sorcerer. Kill the flippin' sorcerer. One more. At least two sorcerer kills will be quite good. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Oh my god, that was so close. We got it, though. We got it, and we also got his trophy. Oh god. The Martians have been defeated, and Humphrey the Merchant has arrived. Oh god damn it. Did it have to be so difficult? Did he have to have so many casualties? I don't know. But the Martians are now dead. And Gunnar McLovin. Oh, hey, that's so cool. Gunnar McLovin, the golf has returned. I mean, the golf returning is cool and all, but you know the name Gunnar McLovin. The original golfer we had, his name was Gunnar McLovin. But then the Gunnar McLovin died, and the guy and the uh, the golfer that swapped Gunnar McLovin was called Boney, whatever his name was. Um, yeah, he's not actually on here. Boney something, and then he died, and then uh, and then Gunnar McLovin came back to swap him out. So basically. Gunnar McLovin was the first golfer, he died, then the Boney Bones guy swapped him out, but then Boney Bones died and now Gunnar McLovin is back, which means he's been resurrected. He died, someone came to swap out, you know, do his job for him, and then the person that did his job for him died, and now Gunnar McLovin himself is back. Unfortunately, oh look at this, laser drill, unfortunately, and uh, Seymour the guy didn't come back, he's a, he's a different guy, Humphrey, so, Seymour may be dead. But, at least, um, my man, uh, you know, Gunnar McLovin has came back to life. That's what I like to call it, because, you know, they have the same name as they did. So, if they come back with the same name, that kind of means, you know, it's the same person. So, Gunnar's back. Uh, we have the merchant also returned, but it's a different merchant. But, I mean, that's fine. We still gotta wait for Zwell just to come, to come back. And also the dog and the bunny, because they, unfortunately, could not survive the horrors of the invasion. Anyway, let's fix our door, because apparently that got broken. And let's go and see what rewards we got from this fight. This what this is what we got from the um, the electrosphere launcher. So we got from the fur from the second uh, you know uh, UFO. You have to use the rockets to use that, which you can only get rockets from. Actually, where do you get rockets from? Actually, isn't the cyborg supposed to arrive after you take down Plantera? Oh no, man, the cyborg has arrived. Yeah, he's just living here. I didn't even notice, but yeah, you got to go and buy the rockets from the cyborg to use that, and the influx waiver just works normally. Influx waiver, I love it. I named my channel after it. It's great. Put everything away, and then oh, oh, Laurie the zoologist is back. Not the same zoologist as before. Molly is dead, but at least we have Laurie because say you know Molly's twin. Now, um, oh god, what a mess of this stuff. What I have so much Martian clothing. The, oh god, okay. Now how about we just go into clothing? Clothes area. Smackle view into there. And then the anti-gravity hook. Okay, so I put you a bit more, you know, normally into there. Good. The anti-gravity hook can... I mean, I guess not really like the anti-gravity hook. We want to go and put the anti-gravity hook away into equipment chest. Yeah, equipment too. Smack you into there. And the uh, Martian conduit plating can go into building items too. Good. And then... Um, hold on a minute. Yeah. Laser drill, I mean, it's cool. But I don't really use it. It's... Oh. It has different sound effects. I sort of didn't make this before. Cool, I'm not going to use it. Uh, yeah, I'm only going to use you. Influx waiver, I love you, but I mean, I named my channel after you, but yet again, I'm not going to use you. But you, I'm going to put you up, because these Martian saucers are now much more difficult. Back then, before 1.4, taking down a Martian saucer was no big feat. You could just hide in your house and take it down, and take it down easily. But now, you literally got to use, you know, all your skill to take down that saucer, because, frankly, yeah, he's much more difficult, because his death rate passes through blocks. But I'm very happy that he got this because then we can celebrate, you know, us winning and taking down that saucer. And that's quite cool. I just want to go and have it perfectly placed. It's like, hold on. It's just lovely like that, I believe. That's going to be, yeah, perfectly in the center. Nice. So now we have Duke Fishron's trophy. Duke Fishron's quite tough. He put a bit of a fight. So I'm pretty happy we got trophy for him. Spasmatism. Uh, yeah, he also wasn't easy to defeat. The twins were quite difficult, so I'm pretty happy we got the trophy for that. And the Martian Sorcery, again, a very difficult fight, so I'm very happy we got the trophy, because, you know, that kind of celebrates our victory. If I get a trophy for an easy boss, I mean, it's pretty cool, but if I get a trophy for a boss that, you know, was quite hard to defeat, it's even cooler, so, yeah. And the dog's name is Poppy. 
I prefer if it was Titus, because Titus was the, you know, the name that he originally had. He has a different name now, but I mean, that is still fine. Now, why did he move into the guys of the Hollow? No, 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 no. You're gonna live with us, puppy. I mean, puppy's quite a nice name, because, you know, he is a puppy. I mean, it's quite weird that you call your dog puppy when he is a puppy. So, you know, it's puppy the puppy. Then it's later, puppy the adult dog. You know, bit of a weird name, but I still like it. We still gotta go and wait for the um, bunny to move back, because the bunny is dead. And apparently the zoologist has moved in back in her room, which is quite good. I'm gonna move that arc, gonna go and make that little banner golden by just simply replacing him. Oh yeah, cause... Well, who the hell? Oh, he placed himself into here, yeah. Okay, that's fine, that's that, that's that, yeah. So, we know we still gotta wait for you, the bunny to come back. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna finish off this episode right here. Today I was planning to have a rematch against Moonlord, but unfortunately, we had a bit of a distraction from the Martians. It was pretty fun, a bit of a nice distraction, we did something else. We managed to survive, you know, the Martian Saucer, managed to defeat it twice, got a bit of loot, and it was quite nice. We also crafted these two new weapons, Nebula Blaze and the Nebula Arcanum, which are actually a lot cooler than I thought they were, so yeah, maybe they can help us in the fight against Moonlord, maybe not, we shall see. Anyway, for now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish off. Next episode, we're probably going to go and face off against Moonlord, since I don't really expect any other, you know, disruptions to get in the way. I mean, unless, you know, the pirates invade or something like that, we should be fine. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, next episode we're going to go, and we're going to once again take on Moonlord. It's going to be round two. I mean, I guess I could say round three, because round two was kind of, you know, postponed or cancelled because of the Martians. Anyway, next episode we're going to have a rematch against the Mar- not the Martians, the Martians are dead. We're going to have a rematch against Moonlord, hopefully take him down, get his Luminite, Take down the pillars again, get ourselves some either solar or vortex armor, and then you can go and take on the ethereal waves. Oh, the bunny's called Joshua. Oh, we had a name to give to a bunny, but I mean still. Yeah, take on uh, the Empress, take on the ethereal waves, get that stupid Supreme Helper mini achievement, and you have fun time with that. But that, all those free achievements that we still gotta get, you can get those after we take down Moon Lord, and you can work on taking down Moon Lord in the next one. For now, let's make sure the bunny lives with us, which he doesn't, so you can even move him. I'm here. Where has the bunny moved in? Hmm, good question. The bunny currently is with... Hold on a minute. He is... Where has he moved into? Oh, he's in the same place the dog has moved into, aka into the hollow. I mean, not surprised. Hollow is pretty nice. I'm not surprised to live in there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hope you just said, next episode we're going to have a rematch against the Lord of the Moons. That'll be next episode for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Why is the zoologist on the roof? I've just realized that she's on the roof. Well, I mean, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!